Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Hey, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Okay, so we do have a star, so Aquarius energy. And we have justice, okay, Libra energy. There's someone here who I feel like wants to right or wrong. So I'm seeing this five of swords. This could have been someone who was playing mind games with you. Um, I feel like there was like a runner chaser energy. Someone wants to, I feel, have a conversation with you and set something straight here. I feel like with this justice card too, Sagittarius, someone here has gotten karma in some way. So, if this person treated you poorly, I feel like almost an identical situation ended up happening to them, which really opened their eyes to what they did to you, is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, it's like karma's coming around here. This person wants to have a conversation here with you. They want to they wanna wrong their right. I feel like this is, what I'm seeing is, I think there's multiple movies that this happens, but you know those people who in movies they grow up and then they look back and they're like oh like i was i was mean to that person like in high school or whatever and then they call them up and they apologize that's kind of what i'm getting so it doesn't mean it has to be someone from that long ago but it's just someone who's like kind of had like an awakening here who's like wow like i really shouldn't have done that um is what i'm getting let me just pull on that justice tell me about justice the ace of cups <laughs> So someone here has a lot of feelings for you here. So if this is someone from your past, like I'm getting this energy of like, they want to set the record straight. I feel like they want to have a start, a fresh start here. Um, yeah, it just feels like this could even been a situation where maybe you weren't actually dating this person, you were just friends, and then maybe they got friend zoned by someone they actually liked, and they were like, whoa, okay, wait, like, I can see how that feels now, that doesn't, that's not actually what I want to do with Sagittarius, like, some, there's just been, like, an aha moment here, is what I'm getting, um, I know, thank you, Spirit. I feel like when I said that just now, some people might think that that means you're a second choice. I don't feel like you're this person's second choice. I feel like they just saw things very differently at a, a different moment in time is what I'm getting. Like they just didn't see things in that way. Um, tell me about justice, anything else? Whoa, we have the moon. Pisces energy here. And we have the devil, Capricorn energy. Tell me more. I feel like this person could have kept secrets eight of pentacles they could have kept secrets this could have been someone who threw themselves into work were very obsessed with their work i feel someone who there was a lot of unknown with this person and i feel like that could even that could even be what they're realizing they don't there's been this aha moment of keeping secrets is not okay or like keeping things um to themselves that like doesn't work Right? Even if it was a protection measure or what have you, I just feel like this person is realizing, well, tell me more about the devil. We have the Hierophant. Look at all these major arcanas coming out. Out of the one, two, three, four, out of the seven cards, you have 
five major arcanas. Like this is like something big is happening with this person. We have the Hierophant. So this person could have taken advantage of the commitment that you had to them. This is Taurus energy. I feel like they could have been scared of commitment at one point. They could have kept a lot to themselves. It just feels like this person's heart chakra has just like opened up. They're, like something has happened. They could have even like experienced a, like some sort of loss or something recently happened. And this person is like, whoa, like Sagittarius was there for me. Or, you know, I turned them away when I really needed them and I shut down instead. Like there's just been this like moment of like, I, I, I wouldn't have liked to be treated the way I treated Sagittarius is what I'm getting here. Um, let me just click. Anything else about the devil? Anything else about the devil? Thank you. Um, two of Pentacles. They could have just prioritized other things here. Yeah, they could have got even defensive about it. There's that Five of Swords showing again. This person could have not given you the time, energy, effort that you deserved and then maybe sort of shifted the blame to you here. It, it genuinely feels with this star energy that this person has had some sort of wake-up call here, especially with the justice there as well. Um... Yeah, it just feels like something that happened between the two of you, this person is seeing it completely differently now. At the time, whenever whenever this happened, they, they felt the way they felt in that moment. But we only know what we know when we know it. So I do feel like there's been... Well, tell me about the star. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they want to give to this. They The Two of Cups at the bottom. I, I feel like this person you know, they've been thinking about this. I feel like they want to give their energy and their effort to this is what I'm getting. I just feel like they, they're realizing that they weren't prioritizing the things they needed to prioritize. Again, this could have even been someone who spent all their time at work or put in so much overtime at work and left very little time for the two of you or for the family or whatever it might have been. Um, and I do feel like they would get, they would save pretty mean things here with the queen of swords there i feel like they're they're working on that though i mean for some of you you might be like i don't care that they're working on it and that's fine but that's just how it's coming through to me let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more we have the five of pentacles some more i was i would should have said it right before it came out i was like i feel like the five of cups is going to come out obviously don't have to believe me but so we have five five here this person regrets a lot i have to say sagittarius this is someone who they're they're feeling left out in the cold they're feeling like their decisions that they made have left them lonely empty sad i feel like um again it's and we don't want bad karma for people ever but i feel like this is the universe sort of get like handing them what they were doing to you maybe to other people i feel like this person is in a position that they've never been in before where they sort of have to really reflect on the way that they've treated others including you here sagittarius um fives are all about obstacles right i feel like this person is realizing that their ways of being aren't working um like i said i feel like that yeah like there's some sort of loss here i feel like this person well, we're going to see if they talk to you about it. It looks like they're really sitting in this, this deep regret, though. Um, tell me more about their actions. Seven of Swords. Two of Swords. Tell me about that Seven of Swords. Page of Swords. Three of Swords. This person's not going to let you know. Tell me more. Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups, all the pages coming out. This person could be younger than you. Literally, Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups just came out back to back. I don't think that's ever happened in a reading before, Sagittarius. Um, this person is is immature. I'm just going to say that. I feel like uh, they're not going to tell you that they're heartbroken. I feel like they are... If you have them on social media, for instance, they are acting like everything's all good. They're enjoying life. Everything's everything's fine and dandy. They're living it up. They're having a carefree time. Nothing's bothering them. It's a mask. They're actually quite heartbroken here. 
Usually the court cards, like queens and kings, represent third party. The three of swords is here. To me, this is coming through as them hiding heartbreak, hiding pain, hiding the fact that they're in deep sorrow, that they didn't make a decision about whatever this was between the two of you. But they're, I feel like they have people around them as well that are sort of also in this energy, like very who cares, it's not a big deal, move on, when in, when in reality this person's feelings actually are deep. Like, I feel like they just don't say that, though. This person could even reach out to you and start talking to you like nothing has happened here. Unfortunately, a lot of people wear a mask, right? I mean, we all sort of do in certain contexts. Like, if you think about it, you probably go to work and put on a, a bit of a different face than you do when you're just at home in your pajamas, right? And I'm, I mean, like, in terms of when we have to talk to clients or customers or whatever it might be, or, or supervisors or bosses, like, we all sort of put on a mask. But when I say put on a mask for this person, it feels like they're trying to mask pain. They're trying to mask that they have regrets, that they're hurt, that there's, there's heartbreak here. All of these pages, this has never happened. All the pages coming out like that. I feel like the way that this person is handling the situation is pretending it doesn't exist. So don't expect this person to, I mean, the page of cups can be an apology, but even if they do apologize to you, Sagittarius, I feel like it's not the apology that, that would change anything. I don't feel like it's heartfelt. I don't feel like it's deep. I don't feel like this person goes into details. I feel like it would just be like, hey, sorry for what happened. Like, how are you? When in reality, they're like, in their mind, something deep has happened to them that has really made them realize, but it's almost like an ego thing at this point. The devil's little eye is poking out at me here. I know you can't see it, but it was just sort of like this. It just feels like there's an ego here where this person is too proud to admit that they messed up or they were wrong or that um, they shouldn't have done something. They know it. They know it. There's regrets here. I feel like this person is sitting in loss. Like it's like they're, they know what they've lost. I feel like not only whatever has happened to them, but also with you here, Sagittarius, like that's sort of what's bringing them forward to you because I feel like you were there for them in a point of time where you didn't need to be and they didn't appreciate it when they should have. So this person, yeah, strong, like, and the pages are students, right? They're here to learn. They're here to experience. I feel like, though, this person isn't willing to, um, at least not in the next little bit, they're not willing to sort of step into that more mature energy and be like, hey, like, can we talk about this for real? Or like, here's actually what's been going on. Um, I also feel like they're keeping an eye on you here. So you might see them, you know, if you're able to see who watches your social media or what have you, I feel like you're going to see that from this person. But it doesn't look like they're going to open up and be honest with you. Um, yeah. They're hurt. They're very, very hurt. Tell me about this person's intentions with Sagittarius. Like, what do they really want? We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Death. Like they want a fresh new beginning. Scorpio energy here. They want whatever whatever happened between the two of you, they want that to be in the past and they just want a fresh start here with you. Tell me more. But it's almost like you can't start over fresh without addressing what has already happened. And this person doesn't want to do that. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Ace of Cups again. This person wants you. They have a lot of feelings here for you. But that five of swords, again, it's like this person plays games. So fives are really relevant. Five, five, five here. Also, all of those pages, like, like I said, I just feel like they're... So 11s might even be um, relevant to you, but I just feel like this person plays games. It's like they have so much feelings, so much feelings for you. They... they see you is very attractive with this queen of wands it's like they sort of just want to pretend like things didn't happen hmm tell me about the five of swords the sun the eight of cups 
it's almost like clarity. Like I shouldn't have walked away. I shouldn't have done what I did. This person knows this. It's like they, they see their self-sabotaging behaviors and self-sabotage comes from a place of not feeling good enough. Right? If this person doesn't feel good enough for you in some way, Sagittarius, they push you away because they feel like you're going to leave anyway or they feel like you're going to see the real them or what have you. I feel like there was a lot of mystery with this person. Um, they know. They are aware of their mind games. Like They're aware of them. But I feel like what they do is just remove themselves instead. Hmm. So they want to fresh start but it still feels like they're, they're, I mean, we all are, but they're really working on this like self-sabotage behavior, this not prioritizing you or the connection. It just feels like there's a lot of work to do still. Tell me about the potential outcome. Two of Pentacles again, going back and forth. We got that in their feelings as well. Like it's almost like they don't know which, which way to go or what to do. And then we have the Hermit and we have the Page of Pentacles again. Virgo energy here. So it's like, it's like this person goes back and forth. They could even say, hey, like, let's just be friends with that Page of Pentacles. That Page of Pentacles is coming out in their actions as well. So this could be them saying, hey, like, you know, I miss you as just a friend even. Or maybe you just were friends with this person. Um, but then the Hermit's here as well. That's like ghosting. So it's almost like as soon as this person gets close, there's a level of closeness that feels too close and then they start with their behavior. They pull away or they prioritize other things or they just make you feel not wanted in some way. And I'm seeing that two of cups again. It's like, I feel like this person feels a strong pull towards you. This person has a, has a hard time communicating, for sure. There's not a lot of consistency here. Like, usually I'll get in readings and I'll be like, there's a lot of water or there's a lot of earth. I feel like this person's kind of all over the place. Like, you'll get a little bit of, a little bit of effort, a little bit of communication, a little bit of emotion, a little bit of passion or chemistry, and then it's like, but that's it. Like, it just feels like little sparks everywhere. There's nothing consistent. So it just looks like there's an offer for friendship and then this person's sort of pulling back. This might even be you, Sagittarius, pulling back your energy and being like, I don't even want to deal with this. Um, so take it as it resonates. But it like, who is this person? How will Sagittarius know? We have the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, someone who I feel, again, is very insecure. We have the Three of Swords, someone who's heartbroken. They, I mean, I have to acknowledge that Three of Swords can represent third-party situation. So there can be other people involved here, maybe there was. I feel like this person has a lot of pain though. Like I feel like they could hide behind material things even, sort of like flashiness and pretending like, like everything's all good, like that their goals are all about um, material wealth or material abundance in some way. But this person's hurt. They could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Capricorn, um, Taurus, Pisces. Scorpio. If you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean that they're not here though. Um, use your intuition. You'll know. I just feel like this person, I feel like you even picked up on their pain, like their hurt. And maybe that's what pushed them away. And not that you pushed them away, but like I said, like that level of closeness gets too much for this person. And then they sort of, they could be like a business owner. They just, like I said, throw themselves into work instead, instead of addressing the, the deeper stuff. Any advice for Sagittarius? The Four of Wands. Do what makes you happy. The Seven of Swords. Do what makes you happy here. Knight of Pentacles. I, what I love about this quote I read is don't fall in love with someone's potential, right? Because we can. We can see someone and be like, oh, you know, they're just learning. They have a lot to go, but it's okay. And we can be so compassionate and understanding, which is such a beautiful quality to have. But if someone is repeatedly showing us that they can't show up, um, I feel like you need to focus on what makes you happy here. How are you going to feel good? 
right? If this person is sort of giving you those breadcrumbs, like I was saying, it's like, it feels like a spark here and there. Like I'm seeing it like that, like the, a little bit of this, a little bit of communication, a little bit of emotion, a little bit of passion, a little bit of community. Like that's how it feels. Um, don't, you know, sort of miss those, I, I guess I'll call them red flags, right? Um, I feel like you're working really hard towards something here. And if you want something stable, something secure, and this person is just not offering it, don't, yeah, I feel like the Seven of Swords is just speaking to like, don't lie to yourself, basically. Don't ignore your intuition. Anything else? Yeah, like Knight of Swords, like don't rush into it. Like the Knight of Pentacles is here. That's a slow moving energy. Take it slow, right? The, the Knight of Swords is completely opposite. Don't rush into something. Don't, um, you know, because sometimes it can be, oh, I haven't, you know, met someone that I connected with in a really long time. And then you do, but this person only gives like a little bit. And so we can kind of make excuses for people and be like, oh, well, you know, they're busy or they're still learning or they're busy with work or they have a lot on their plate or whatever but it's if it's not making us happy like this then we're sort of cheating ourselves out of something good potentially something else um so let's let's see if there's any messages here for you oh okay a lot so we got peace i am a being of love and i release all negative energy so I feel like, again, if you're working towards your peace, your stability, your happiness here, don't let that be uh, disturbed in some way. We have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. They absolutely are. So it can be frustrating when an energy like this comes through and it's like, why? Why do I have to have these breadcrummy energies? It's like, well, we learn. We learn what we want and what we don't want. Abraham Hicks talks a lot about contrast. Right. If we only experience amazing connections all the time, we're not going to really be able to appreciate them the same way we would as if we experience not so great connections. Right. It's showing us what we want and what we don't want. Um, and we have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. There's that Knight of Pentacles. Right. Um, everything's happening the way it's supposed to. It just sort of feels like there's some sort of lesson in this with that justice card, especially. Um, let's see the hidden messages from this person. What hidden messages does this person have for Sagittarius? I wish things could be different. So they want things different with you, but it's almost like they're not willing to put in the work to make that happen. I tried to run from this connection, but my soul craves you. So especially for, for those of you who feel like you do already know this person, usually the judgment and the six of cups tells me that you have history with this person and they're coming back for another chance, but it does feel like this person's already in your energy in some way, shape or form. Um, um, they tried to run, but they can't. They, and it could be because the lesson hasn't been learned yet. Right. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this person, um, didn't appreciate what they had when they had it. And there's been some sort of aha moment, but they're still coming forward with like, half half ass behavior really we got you and i were too young i mean for some of you that could have been um but i feel like this person's mentality is still sort of the same with all those pages we have there are feelings of anger inside me that i need to release before i explode so you could have even known this person to be sort of hiding because there's a lot of unknown with this person i feel like i'm not even really when i'm holding these cards i'm not getting anything specific right so this i feel like this person has buried things very deep within them and that's a protection measure right perhaps you know of of to some degree that this person has been through some pretty painful things um because they're just coming through as someone who has a lot of heavy energy in them but puts on a mask like nothing's wrong um so yeah they've buried it pretty deep I don't react when people mention you. So this person really tries to pretend like you don't bother them, even though their soul craves you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is that one. This one flew out over here. It's like they have so much to say, um, but it, it doesn't come out in a succinct manner, like a clear way. I know that I crossed the line with you. So this person is aware. And then we have, it's too late, I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. So that could even be your energy here. 
um, Sagittarius. So let's see. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. We have communicate clearly. That's the thing here, Sagittarius, is that I feel like you are very good at communication. You are very good at saying, you know, you did this that hurt me or this doesn't work for me or what have you. This person has a hard time with that. Um, but that doesn't mean that you should stop saying that, right? If, if this person does come back or what have you, set those boundaries. Let this person know. Um, and of course, your huge heart, again, is so appreciated, Sagittarius. But again, don't miss those things that because I, I feel like there's there's an overload of like empathy here. You feel bad for this person in, in some way, shape or form. Um, but don't let that sort of uh, overpower your ability to be like, this, but this person can't really give me what I need. Right. Um, so we have your dreams need a practical plan. We have your hard work is paying off. Taurus and Capricorn energy there. Lots of earth energy. There's something here happening for you, um, Sagittarius. Because that Knight of Pentacles too. Like I feel like you're working really hard at something. We have meditate and contemplate. Pisces energy. And then I am seeing nothing will come of this situation at the bottom. So yeah, meditation can be so powerful because it actually helps us just you know, get to that quiet that's already in our mind because the hustle bustle of life can sometimes feel overwhelming and just sort of find that peace. You got that peace card, right? Like you, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So even though there can be empathy or sympathy for this person, I feel like if they are sort of a heavier energy and it's harder to be around them, um, Sometimes it's better for us to sort of distance us from ourselves from that type of energy, right? Whoa. Okay. We have lots here. Okay, so we have blessed, we have the fates, and we have... Look, they're telling me to put them back. Okay. Usually I don't get three, so maybe that's why. Let's see. Thank you. Okay. They said just that one. Okay. But even when I see... I saw blessed... The fates sort of in the reverse here. This deck does have protection messages. I feel like there is a, a faded reason why the two of you met. There is a lesson here, but it just feels like it just feels like this person realized what they had too late. Is how I'm going to put it. Um, so let's read "Go the Distance" number forty-seven. Do you feel as if you've been wandering in the desert now for ages and ages and nothing is happening? When you conjure up the image of a desert, you picture parched lips, sunburned skins, and mirages, but there is more to it than that. Amid the hot sands are creatures with resilient spirits, tough skins, and the willingness to burrow deep underground for water so that they may thrive. This is a time of developing survival skills and resilience. You are learning how to conserve your strength. And in this temporary time of austerity, it's wise to be selective about where you expend your energy. Listen to the call of your soul because it will never lead you astray. This is an important time of, for letting go of what's not important. I honestly feel like for some of you, this could just be a friend, right? Someone who sort of has this heavier energy and your desire to help them is so so pure, but I feel like it's it's, bit, it's like a bit of an anchor here. Um, okay, so these could be initials of you or this person. Um, oh, we didn't get any numbers. Take it as it resonates, but if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have R. R again, Y, N, S, G, L, and H. And I couldn't help but notice all of those hearts were either pink or red. So that those two colors, I mean, obviously Valentine's Day is coming up for those who celebrate or like acknowledge it, but I just feel like there's something about pink and red as well. Um, so take that as a, it could be a hair color or a new outfit or something you just bought. 
pink and red. Um, but I do hope something here resonated for you, Sagittarius. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Sending so much love and light.